Are you an artist? Negative. I am a meat popsicle. For any of you who got that dorky movie reference, high five. Monday Motivational Madness. A crazy good way to start your week. Hola, you amazing artists, and welcome to a Monday Motivational Madness brought to you by our amazing rogues, the patrons out there. I wanted to start the week off with this question because honestly, I've run into it a few times. I've read a lot of comments from you guys where you're having difficulty figuring out whether or not you can call yourself an artist. I've actually done another video on this, but I wanted to record another one because that video got a lot of responses. A lot of people agreed with what I had to say, but there were some people that got really, really upset and were like, you can't just call yourself an artist? No. So that begs the question, who has the right to call themselves an artist? Pablo Picasso once famously said, all children are artists. The problem is remaining an artist once you grow up, once you become an adult. The interesting thing is that if you look up the word artist in the dictionary, you'll find various meanings, but they all pretty much sum up into one thing. Anyone who creates something with skill and imagination. There's a quote by Paul Cezanne, and I'm totally going to butcher this. He pretty much stated that an artist creates reproductions of the senses, basically the world viewed through the soul. In other words, we as artists create what we see in our mind and in our heart. So as artists, if it's as simple as us being out there creating what we see in the world through our mind and our heart and putting it on canvas or creating whatever creation it is that you create, why is there so much debate on whether or not you are an artist? Why are artists out there having such a hard time just calling themselves an artist? So that goes to three myths that are out in the art world. Myth number one, you need a degree in order to be able to call yourself an artist. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with getting a degree. That is pretty much up to the person who decides what their path is when they are approaching an art career. Believe it or not, there's a flip side to this argument too. There are academic artists that are being told by self-taught artists that, well, you're not a real artist because you went to school for it. That's ridiculous too. But I will say that it is not a prerequisite. There are many, many artists, many artists throughout history that just did not get a degree. For example, one of the most admired artists in the world right now, Van Gogh, was completely self-taught. And a lot of those masters were self-taught. You definitely need some degree of persistence and determination to be an artist. Oh, I like that. Uh, those are the degrees that you wanna aim for. Like I said, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting an art degree, but if somebody is using that as a weapon to tell you that you are not an artist because you don't have this degree, because you didn't decide to spend money on going to school, um, they are wrong. The next myth is that you need to be earning money with your art in order to be able to call yourself an artist. And I could break this down to a beautiful quote from George O'Keefe. Whether you succeed or not, that is irrelevant. There is no such thing. Making the unknown known is what ultimately matters. And I know that I just butchered her quote. Basically, just as long as you are creating something, that is ultimately what matters. And if you are sharing it with the world, if you are putting it out there, or even if you're not putting it out there, that doesn't matter. What matters is that you are taking something that has not been created and you are creating it. You are bringing life into it, bringing it into the world. This is one of those things where there's a huge amount of contradiction, right? Because you have the, you need to earn money to be called an artist camp. And then you have the, your total sellout if you're earning money camp like you have to be the starving artist and so like how do those two stack up against each other i'd love to just put those camps in a room together and be like fight <laughs> finish him <laughs> yeah you know honestly i don't think that the starving artists would do very well because you know they don't have much energy because they're starving true so the third myth is that you need a validation. You need to have a gallery tell you that you're an artist. You need to have an art critic or someone out there be the one that labels you as an artist. This was one of the comments on my last video where somebody was like, you can't just call yourself a doctor, can you? And I was like, um, that's, that's a degree. It's not like a nickname. That I take very seriously. You shouldn't give yourself a nickname, okay? Like Rafi the Awesome? I mean, that's a that, good nickname. That's more like a title. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. Art, you don't need validation. You don't need the degree. You don't need to be earning money with it. You don't need anyone to tell you that you are an artist. One of my favorite quotes that I had up on my wall while I was 
wrestling with this stuff early on in my career was from Andy Warhol. He says, don't think about making art, just get it done. Let everyone else decide if it's good or bad, whether they love it or hate it. While they are deciding, make even more art. We get so caught up in the title of being an artist that we forget that just a simple act of creating art is what makes you an artist. The problem is that if you're waiting around for validation, the job of the art establishment is to reject art and to withhold validation. The reason they do this is because it makes them seem like they're the expert when it comes to the art. Because if not, they would have no power. Basically what would happen is everyone could just buy art directly from the artist, except that the perception in the world is that the art establishment is the authority in deciding who is and who isn't an artist which is completely and utterly ridiculous. The thing about it is that when it comes to an art career and whether or not you are calling yourself an artist, it's not like any other job out there. It's not even a job, it's a lifestyle. We're now working a job, we're getting validation, earning money, and possibly having a degree is what gets you the job. This isn't like a place that you go to where you're looking forward to retiring from it. This isn't a place where you need to get a big pat on your back from your boss. This is your creations. This is your lifestyle. This is who you are. I got to call myself a sandwich artist back in the day when I worked for a particular sandwich company. Wait, did you call yourself a sandwich artist or did they call you a sandwich artist? I mean, I guess they did. Yeah, so someone else did. So there's your validation. However, you still make a mean sandwich. So I would call you a sandwich artist. Thank you. The title of artist is not something that is given to you. It is something that you choose for yourself. We are the artist. It's inside of us. It's what we do. If you are creating art, then you are an artist. Never doubt it. Never let the naysayers convince you otherwise. You are an artist. It doesn't matter if you have the validation. It doesn't matter if you're earning money with it. It doesn't matter if you have a degree. All you have to do is be willing to stand up tall and say, I am an artist. Proclaim it to the world. Let everyone know that you are an artist. But most importantly, let yourself know. When you look in the mirror, do you feel uncomfortable? Do you feel weird? Do you feel stupid when you tell yourself, you know, I am an artist? Maybe it's because you've convinced yourself that you're just not good enough. Not good enough to call yourself an artist. How hard was it for you to call yourself an artist when you first started? I literally had no qualms about it. Really? And in my particular area, it really makes people mad because I predominantly do jewelry and they're like, that's crafting. And that gets into a whole other, <laughs> a whole other ball of wax Oh God, there. I don't even want to go into that. So um, many people are like, well, what's the difference between crafting and boot -boo 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 -boo? And I'm like, the difference is that somebody labeled it this and somebody labeled that that and somebody labeled that right. that i'm like the difference is i literally don't have time to argue semantics about <laughs> what to call it the thing about it is you are either waiting around for someone to acknowledge that you are an artist or you are acknowledging yourself and i'll be honest with you it starts with you acknowledging yourself the fact is that no matter how much artwork you sell no matter how many people know of you no matter how famous you are as an artist some people will love what you do and some people will hate it. If you are waiting around for the world to acknowledge that you are an artist, you are gonna be pulled in several different directions. As an artist, you are a force of nature and you're gonna run into people that don't believe in themselves and then want to squash you and tell you that you are not an artist. But you are an artist, you are brave, you are powerful. You can put yourself out there and completely ignore the naysayers, but it starts with you. Being an artist is not something that is given to you. Being an artist is something that you claim. You claim that title. It is something that you have been since the moment that you could pick up a pen, pick up a paintbrush or an instrument or whatever it is. You get to choose. You get to decide who you are, what you are, and what you put out there. And that's it, you guys. At the end of the day, just remember, you are whatever you decide that you are. Don't let anyone else tell you what you are supposed to be or are not, because it's not up to them, it's up to you.
this is my opinion, this is how I feel, and this is what got me through the hurdle of trying to figure out whether or not I was an artist or I wasn't an artist. But I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are. Go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching this Monday Motivational Madness brought to you by our amazing patrons. All right, so I'm about to end this video. You wanna say goodbye to our amazing artists out there? Absolutely, all you amazing artists, good day. And again, you guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you wanna watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. I will talk to you later. Adios.